Welcome back to the story of Maple. I'm your host, Axe Chris. Today's chapter will be part one, chapter three, The White Mage. Over 800 years ago, a child was born on the continent that would one day be known as Edelstein. This boy was eventually found in a snowstorm in El Nath by a group of mages who brought him into the mage tower. Although the boy could not remember anything from before he had been rescued, including his name or his home, the mages sensed a powerful aura emanating from him, and so they took the boy in and decided to teach him magic. Over the years, it soon became clear that his magical power was so unparalleled that his talent quickly exceeded that even of the wisest among them. On the day that he came of age, the mage council summoned him in order to bestow his official title upon him. To their shock, however, the boy performed the forbidden art of light magic before them. His master strongly admonished him for his actions, reminding him that light and dark magic stemmed from the same root, which was the reason why both were forbidden. However, the boy responded by simply asking them if they would let their fear prevent understanding. That night, the shaken elders met in secret and peered into the future which they discovered that if the boy were to continue his pursuit of the ultimate light, he would bring about the end of Maple World. Horrified, they resolved to kill him before their prophecy came to pass. Upon storming his quarters, however, they found the room empty. The boy then revealed himself on the roof and asked if they had come to teach him one final lesson. The mages used their most powerful spells, but none of them did even the slightest damage to him besides a small cut on his cheek. Realizing that his masters really had come to kill him, he decided that he wouldn't hold back either. He showed them his mastery of light magic, which he used to slay them all. As he disappeared into the snowstorm, the boy told him that he had hoped to study light magic in the mage tower, lamenting that their actions had made it impossible. Years later, he became a wandering mage who traveled the world for over a decade saving people from powerful monsters around them. Because of his platinum hair, he became known as the White Mage. During his travels, he observed that there existed great corruption and instability in Maple World, with countless civil wars, monster attacks, and criminals who took advantage of the helpless amidst all the chaos, all of which broke the balance of light. He took it upon himself to find a solution, believing that light magic held the answer to saving the world. At one point, he built an underground laboratory in the Nihal Desert, where he conducted experiments on the nature of light and dark magic. His research built the foundation for alchemy, and his contemporaries founded a town called Magesha, built atop the White Mage's laboratory. One day, he had a moment of epiphany, declaring that the ultimate light can only be found in the ultimate darkness. With those words, he vanished into the Forest of Peace, a land where no daylight could pierce through. Along with a handful of followers, he founded the Society of Aurora to study the nature of light magic. At one point in his research, the White Mage encountered twin spirits of darkness. In exchange for helping him understand the darkness, he granted them human bodies and gave them the names Orchid and Lotus. Taking on a physical form was taboo for spirits, as doing so would result in them losing their natural immortality and invulnerability. Because of this, Lotus had a bad feeling about the arrangement, though he agreed to accept it after seeing how happy it made his sister. That's it. That's the whole chapter. The next chapter will be Part 1, Chapter 4, The World of Grandis. And that is going to be a very long chapter. We're going to be talking about Darmor. We're going to be talking about the Apostles. We're going to be talking about Magnus. And, of course, Kaiser. So, join me next time as we talk about the world of Grandis. Grandis.